A collision between the Milky Way and a nearby dwarf galaxy produced countless glowing stars. Within a few thousand years, some of these stars ended in supernova explosions. A myriad of cosmic rays from the supernova deteriorated the sun's heliosphere and bombarded the Earth. These cosmic rays helped generate cloud condensation nuclei, which produced more and more clouds until the Earth was completely blanketed with them. The thick cloud cover prevented sunlight from reaching the surface of the Earth. The Earth underwent a global glaciation event known as the Snowball Earth. This caused another global mass extinction. But once again, some life survived yet another difficult period beneath the ice sheet. Tiny life was protected by the Earth's massive circulating system. And the Earth is similarly held in place by the solar system and the expansive universe. Life is but one part of an enormous system. The prokaryotes survived the snowball Earth evolving into more complex life, such as endosymbiotic systems living together inside cells. They formed mitochondria and chloroplasts, which allowed them to get more energy from oxygen. A single prokaryote body could contain thousands of mitochondria. A nuclear membrane formed, protecting DNA from the oxygen-dense ocean water. DNA strands grew longer, retaining ever more genetic information. life evolved into more diverse and complex organisms. At long last, the eukaryotes appeared. The eukaryotes grew a million times larger than the prokaryotes. In theory, everything inevitably falls into disorder. And yet, life is orderly and increasingly complex. Life seems to continue evolving, undeterred by universal entropy. <laughs> 